sit down for me. So you had a breaking point in your marriage with Shay? Absolutely. What's going I, on? I can't take it no more. We went from being best friends and now it's all we do is fight and argue and I can't take it no more. I know, I, I know how when it gets to that place, but I need to back up a little bit. So y'all met behind bars. We did. Okay, tell me how that worked out. Um, I, I was broken. I lost my family. I lost everything mm. when I went to jail. I was so depressed. I, I wouldn't even get out of my bed. Oh, poor and baby. And then, you know, about five months later, here she comes, and she won't leave me alone. Mm -hmm. She's just there all the time. Yeah. Hi, you know, how you feeling? How you doing? I'm like, get away from me. No, she's just very <laughs> persistent. <laughs> yeah. And so she got me to where I was talking to people again. I was getting out of bed. I was exercising. Why are we keeping on the mug shots? My producer's so shady. Oh, my God. <laughs> Girl, they out. They no, They're terrible. Uh, not, they are terrible. Exactly. Like, they, they so shady. Okay, yeah, so, so. so she, was, she was pursuing you. Mm -hmm. And then you became more than friends. We did. Okay. We did. Um... Well, I, I kind of told her I had feelings for her before we went to prison. Okay. Um, so there was a little history before y'all went to jail. Yeah, just, okay. just a little, just a little bit. bit. Yeah. Just, you know, I'm not ready for anything right now, but, you know, eventually, you know, I, I'll still be here when all the mother girls are gone because she's going okay, through girls. Okay, confident. Girls, you know, got I mean. it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, very, right? So, okay. Yeah. But when did the cheating start? Oh, uh, about two weeks after we made it official, which is when we got out of prison. I know you got out, but did y'all say, did you have that conversation that said, we want monogamy? Well, no. Okay. No. Would you have been down for a little, you know? At, at first, you know, I just got out of prison. You know, at first it was one way. But, you know, it, but it, you did, it been wasn't down a that way for very long. Okay. So you would have been down for a little if there was open communication. Exactly. Okay. My producer told me something that I thought was a little um, wild. She, she could have been released from jail earlier, but she stayed in because of you? Yeah, I was, I was panicking. They mm. wouldn't send me back to a, a rehab or anything like that. They said I had to go to prison, and I was so terrified. She said, well, you know what? Instead of going on probation, you know, how about I just sign with you? So she signed with me. We literally mm. rode to prison together on the same bus. It's so misguided, and but also so sweet. We, got <laughs> like, out, we even got so, out six days ago. I can't even lie. I'm not even front. It, like, if I was on the outside, I would give her a different advice, but that is very sweet. How long was her, was it extended because she stayed with you? Like, was it another um, month, two no, months? No, it was another year. Another year? Yeah, 18 months. 18 months. 18 months. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's the misguided part, you see? Yeah. Right, that's a, it's sweet, but the misguided part. Okay, so are you married now? We are. You are married. We are. Okay, congratulations. I love love. Thank you. Uh, my, my producer, I remember telling me that she accused you of sleeping with her brother. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll have you know, I was, I don't like him at all. I mean, <laughs> it, I don't like him. Yeah. He, he irks my nerves. Yeah, so I just want to confirm, because I always have to ask, you're Thank not you. sleeping with her brother. Absolutely There's not. There's been no intimate relationship at all. Absolutely okay, not. Good. Just, I just want to be clear, you know what I mean? I think it's time to hear what Shay has to say. So everyone, please welcome Shay to the show. What do you mean, what do I mean? What the do you mean by me cheating and me um, going off for you and stuff like that? Always. Do you talk about the times where you went off on me? Yes, I did. I said, it's become where it's tit for tat now. And, and it's killing me because it, it hurts my heart doing that to you. It breaks me. You're my best friend. You're supposed to be my best friend. Shay, you told my producers that you two stopped having sex? Yes. We stopped having sex because of the simple fact that, for one, she accused me every single day of cheating. But also, you can insult me. You can call me out my name. You can belittle me and call me a mm. Ooh. You do that, girl? You tell me no that no, you want to. Okay, you know, that's a no-no, no, girl. It was the one thing I, she, she was my best friend. It's the one thing I knew would set her off. Got my it. kids, my, my kids are mixed. Okay. I, I, it had nothing to do that's with that. That's not an excuse. I was specifically that's trying not an to excuse. piss you off is why I said that. That's not an excuse. You think I didn't feel bad for saying it? And then, honestly, it's also, it's also you saying you, that you want to But other you're not going to mention that you you're wake saying me up that all you want to my brother. You I only say it because you're constantly accusing me of it. I've had it, Shay. I've had it. Then what 
you think I had it with? You wake me up. I don't get to sleep anymore because you wake me up all hours of the night, accusing me of cheating. Okay, you, you wake, wake me up, up in the morning. To you me wake of me up. On you. you literally wake me up in the morning saying, "Oh, you talked to that bitch last night. Oh, you want to go f bitch last night? Like what? The f what is that?" So it? now I understand why you think that she's sleeping with your brother because she said it to you. Yes. Got it. Uh -huh. My whole thing is. I want to ask you a question first, really quickly. Yes, sir, Did you yes, really sir. stay in jail an extra eight months um, longer to be with her? Yes, I read it. I read. I read it out for her. I stood up for her. You know, I didn't let nobody mess with her, and I'm still like that to this day. She so focused on accusing me of cheating, trying to find some female that I'm talking to. She don't focus on what I do for her and these kids. She don't I understand the relationship I have with these kids. Their own damn father don't want nothing to do with them. Do you, do you appreciate the? What I she do. Does? They call yeah. her dad. And so y'all are raising She's him together. She's the only yes. person they have okay. ever known. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna ask you both point blank. Have you, Heather, ever cheated on Shay? Never. Shay, have you ever cheated on Heather? No. Okay. Um, how do you feel about Heather? I love Heather. I love Heather because she's a genuine person. She's a very passionate, nice, genuine person. But what I do not love about Heather is her emotional ways and she, you know, when somebody talk about something, they can get over it. She can never get over it. It's always aggressive, 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 aggressive. I never get time to breathe and be like, leave me alone. Is that true? Well, I've had a rough past. You live and you learn. And she's hurt me enough times at this point that I'm struggling. I'm okay. trying to figure out how do I hurt you? How? You have not physically seen one female that come in the yard, but there's multiple dudes that come in your yard. You make fun of me all the time. You're picking up. Those people you defended me from in prison, you have become. And you know what? Them people, it never bothered me. I didn't care about them. I didn't give two what they thought. But you, you know how bad you're breaking my heart. I am in love with you. I'm in it's love with me. you too. But when you go on your rants, when you can't control your emotions, it breaks that bond. It breaks and, that and, trust. And, and, and it's not, it's not a two-way street, right? No, it's just me, right? That's what you're saying, it's just me? Because I'm, I, not, I'm not saying it's just you. I've got to the point where it's tit for tat. When you hurt me, I can't help but lash out. I have nothing left. All I do is lash back out at you. When you hurt my feelings, I go after you in every way I can think of because I want you to see how bad you hurt me. I want you to hurt as bad as me. So you it's saying, so me. you telling me that when you say, oh, I want to go f this person, you're not satisfying me. I want to go f that man. I want to go f that man. We never have that man. How can you say anything about a man when you're with a whole female? How? Because it bothers you. You need to choose what you want. This is real life I for want me. you. This is I have, real life. You are the first person in my whole life I have ever been faithful to. And you're right, you are a female. And we don't have sex. And I am still faithful. I'm gonna come over here with you a little bit because I already know she's gonna get a little aggressive. Okay. I'm not. Shay, did you feel um, more free in jail than you feel now? Do I feel more free in jail? Yeah. What do than you, you do in this oh, house? Yeah. Like, oh yeah, like because it's some, yeah. I feel like I'm isolated. I'm from the city. She's from the country. It's a difference. Yeah. We come from two different environments. I want to go traveling work. I'm used to traveling. I can't even go travel because this girl be like, I be like, babe, you know, I'm not making the money that I'm supposed to be making here because this is a low economy, like a low income environment we live at. So therefore, I want to branch out and go somewhere else and make a higher income for not only me, but to provide for you and the kids. But how am I supposed to do that when you all, you tell me, if you go, you don't even have to come back. Do you say that? I do. Okay. If she wants to leave me, she can leave, but she- Got it. Okay, I got it. Um, Shay, Heather also turned over her phone to our Unlock the Phone investigator. And Shay, you want to know a couple things as well. Has Heather been communicating with a specific list of men? If Heather has been using any apps to communicate with other men and women? And if Heather has been communicating with your brother, um, his name is Trayvon? Yes. Trevin? Trayvon? Yes, Trayvon. And if Heather has any explicit photos on her phone, um, what's on the line for you if any of that stuff comes up? We're done. I You're can't done. deal with that because of the simple fact that...
I'm not finna keep putting these kids in an unhealthy situation. I love those kids to death, but at the end of the day, I can't go to courthouse for them, for them kids. Okay. I can go to courthouse for my son, but I can't I go to courthouse for them Got kids. It. Don't matter I have how much I love you. Before we get to the unlocked phone results, no Shay's brother, Trey, is here. Please welcome Trey to the show. Quick. His relationship toxic is Say you could do way better than her. And I'm going ahead and correct you, bro. Why that bro? I don't give a about no camera right now. I'm going ahead and correct that bro. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, underneath this skin, bro, we bleed the same thing. We got the but same vessels. We got all that bro. But if you man or female, real bro, bro, on God, bro. And first of all, let me go ahead and on tell you something. I would never, ever, ever look. What looks good in the inside doesn't mean it look good on the outside to me, baby. Let's go ahead right. and correct that right now. Right, I would exactly. never, ever, ever in my life sleep with you. And Shut second of all, say, let me go ahead and tell you Well, look, what? What you about to say? No, 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 Reason? Man, you, you think you I just started for no reason? You a piece of shit. My well, sister helped got started your kids. Her like that? My, sister, my sister helped got your kids back. My sister got a job. Yeah, she right. take care of you. She take right. care of your right. kids. Right. I can give a shit. Started controlling me. I can't make up no more. I can't wear what I want to wear no more. Well, nah, I can't well, even speak to a man anymore. Is this a seat right here? Yo, well, what is I don't oh, yeah. care. We're gonna have I don't care if they're 70 years old. I can't even speak to a man without you tripping on me. Even at my job. Okay, Trey, I'm gonna say this, Trey, Trey, what I do appreciate is what you've told and shared that lets me know is that your, your conduct when she's not around. Yes, and sir. I think that's one of the most important Says things. Says the one who's been hooking him up with girls in the background in the first place. She toxic, bro. Well, listen, um, Trey, I appreciate your perspective. I appreciate what you share with me. And I think it's time to unlock the phone. <laughs> Heather, we unlocked your phone. Never had a lock on it. Okay. Shay wants to know if Heather has been communicating with a specific list of men. Heather says she is not. My Unlock the Phone investigator searched her phone and found that Heather is telling the truth. <laughs> Shay, you want to know if Heather has been using any apps to communicate with other men and women. Heather says she is not. My Unlock the Phone investigator searched her apps and found that Heather is not communicating with anyone, but she has had visited four different hardcore porn sites in the past couple of weeks. Ooh. Now, this is specific based on... Girl, we saw on your phone. What's, what, what it's you, on yours. What, what you been watching? I've watched porn one time in the last two years. Okay. One time. Well, we, the sites have been visited. We find all of it. Like, okay. Says but, the one but, who but always what was has my about phone? It, what's specific about it, I guess, is no. that the fact that it's, it's I don't male watch porn. porn on your male, phone. Female, male. Then why is it there? I don't watch porn on your phone. I watch porn on my own phone when it's needed. Yeah, male and female. Okay. I got it. Male and I, I told you I watched I porn it. before. I think, I've told well, the reason, you. The, reason, the reason that my investigator pointed that out is just because of the fact that the sites were there and that it was um, female and male porn that was watched. And I know that was one of the insecurities. Is that, no, thank I you. don't watch female what male porn is no the I watch. That's just what we found. That's just what we found. What I That's watch. what we found. Shay, you want to know if Heather has any explicit photos on her phone? Heather says she does not. My unlocked the phone investigator searched her photos and found that she is not telling the truth. My investigator found two suspicious photos of Heather and her phone of men. Can I see these? Yeah, it says, it I says they're not. Hold on, it says they're not explicit in nature, so I'm not sure what it is. So let me see what this is. Hey, okay. smartphones don't lie. Smartphones don't. Now you know why we unlock phones. They don't lie. All right, here we go. Um, let me see this. Um, who's this? That's my dad. Okay, got it, okay. That's my dad. Is your dad too? That's my okay, dad. Got it. I, okay, we, we just gotta ask. Makes sense, now we understand. All right, so you have this. Um, Shay, now it's time to unlock your phone. All right, here we go. All right, Heather, you wanna know if Shay has sent any explicit photos and videos to other women on her phone? Shay says she has not. My Unlock the Phone investigator searched her phone and found that Shay is not telling the truth. My investigator found over 17,000 photos 
391 videos. And found. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can we see those? Um, so 17,000 photos, not all explicit in nature, but they're enough to flag my investigation. He we said can't the see the pictures? You think I'm gonna print up 17,000 photos? No. Are they recent? Don't print up that much. Are they recent? What happened? Are it's, they recent? It's all in her phone, yeah. There was one sus suspicious video she made with the caption, this is how I ride ya, what is that about? Oh, that's just a video of me dancing. That's oh, not got it. that's okay, nothing not. explicit with no female or nothing. It's me dancing. Got it. Okay, then cool. Okay, perfect. Um, Heather, you wanna know, secondly, if Shay has been communicating with specific women. Shay says she is not. My unlocked the phone, investigator searched Shay's phone and found that she is not telling the truth. He found three <laughs> female names in her contacts that were recently deleted. Heather, you want to know if Shay has specific apps on her phone to communicate with other women. Shay says she does not. My Unlock the Phone investor searched Shay's apps and found that she is not telling the truth. My investigator found two different apps, WhatsApp and Telegram. Do you communicate with other people on those? Yes, yeah, she knows about both of those apps. I don't talk to any females on those apps. Okay. Now, what I've noticed in this moment is, like I said before, from the beginning, neither one of you have ever been able to really communicate your wants or desires. You both came from a fragile state and got into another state where it became codependent. And this codependent relationship has turned completely toxic. I can tell you where this is gonna go, and I say this professionally. In another year, your brother is right. If y'all stick in this relationship, it is gonna turn violent. It is going, so there is gonna be someone who's gonna react, and that reaction is going to be bad. She, you're still in a place right now where you're dealing with your emotions, especially your emotions and your anxiety after dealing with years of addiction. And she still has to handle that. Are you seeing counseling still? Okay, good. So I'm glad that you have that. So that allows you to be able to monitor your feelings and try to manage them. But y'all are not doing a good job. You met in jail, but you're still policing each other right now. And if I could give y'all any advice right now, it's for you to end this and then you have to take the steps to move on. So I've given y'all what's happening and what you need to do to move forward. And I pray that you take my advice, okay?